Hi there, Midvale friends. This is Pastor Blake, and I'm very glad to be with you today and to have with me Marty and Eileen Harrison. And they have been uh, so gracious as to offer to share some thoughts about our congregation and why it is meaningful for them to be a part of this church and to support it. Marty and Eileen are newer members to Midvale and have just jumped right in. And I really appreciate their enthusiasm and faith and support. So hi, Marty and Eileen, how are you today? Very good. Very good. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Wonderful to see you as well. So uh, thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts and your experience as being newer members at Midvale. So I will turn it over to you and let you uh, share some of your perspective. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll begin. On November 3rd, 2019, we were welcomed into membership at Midvale Community Lutheran Church. And as part of the stewardship campaign this fall, Pastor Blake has asked us to share our perspective as new members on why we joined Midvale and what we appreciate about the church and why we will be supporting it. Now, prior to moving to Madison, we had been active members for 50 years at Trinity Lutheran Church in Fort Atkinson. Knowing that we were moving to Madison, finding a new church home was very important to us. And in fact, I was even looking on the internet at what, church, of course, ELCA Lutheran churches were available in Madison. And eventually, we narrowed it down to two. But it was in the middle of the service of the second time we were attending Midvale that we had turned to each other during the service and said, this is where we're meant to be and that, that was it. And what drew us was recognizing what a vibrant and active church Midvale is. Pastors Blake and Katie were very welcoming to us and even met with us um, alone to, together to talk about the church and <clears throat> Other members were also very welcoming. We noticed there was a diversity of age groups present in the services and the music was uh, so beautiful and inspirational. But one thing that really impressed us though was the amount of outreach that is done into the community by Midvale. Now we were gone for the winter as we do now that we're retired, uh, but we returned in early spring in the midst of the pandemic. And it was sad uh, that our church along with other churches had to close their doors to in-person services. Uh, we have really appreciated though, what our pastors and the staff have done to adapt so quickly to the changes that needed to be made. Yes, we would all prefer to be in the pews, but we've been able to see our sanctuary as the pastors have conducted the services online and has led us through this time. There's been many opportunities for us to participate in interesting and thought-provoking adult forums, book discussions, and online studies. Calls were made to check up on members and we received one of those calls and, and really appreciated it. Our building may have had to be closed temporarily, but the work of the church has continued. Now we're finding ourselves in the midst of stewardship season and it's time to examine how we might be able to contribute back to the church. One aspect of that is money. Talking about money is essential. Financial support plays an important role in the church being able to accomplish its work and goals. Now, for us through our married life, whether during the times when we had less or when we had more, make a financial commitment to our church according to our ability has always been a given. We recognize that all we are and all we have is a gift from God. And in response to what we have been given, we feel blessed to be able to give towards God's work in our church. And I'm gonna let Marty say a few more things on stewardship. Eileen mentioned our 50 year membership at our previous church. And uh, I had quite the experience during the very first year 
I got an invitation from the pastor to go out to lunch. And to say that I was surprised is a great understatement because he asked me to be the chairman of the stewardship campaign for the coming year. Uh, little did I know that that gave me quite a wonderful opportunity. That request required me to step back and to think if I'm going to ask other people for money and, and their time, then Eileen and I had to consider what we were going to give and donate to our church. I was in good health. Uh, I got a great education. Uh, I had a rewarding job. I had a loving wife and a newborn son. I was just blessed and both of us were truly blessed and we couldn't deny that. So prior to each new year, Eileen and I make a determination about what we will give of our money and of our time for the church. I hope that each member of Midvale can find it in their heart to take the time to reflect on what God has given you. And then, in return, please give what you are able. I just wanted to share um, a Bible verse that I came across um, from Deuteronomy 16, verse 17. Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Marty and Eileen. That is really a meaningful sentiment that you have shared. And we really appreciate your sharing your personal journey and your personal experience and commitment to uh, responding to God's love and blessings in your life. And that really makes all the difference. So thank you for being a part of our congregation and blessing us with your presence and your gifts and your faith. And uh, we are the recipients of what the church that you were a part of for 50 years helped to grow in you and faith and how you connected. And so we give thanks to that congregation as well. So blessings to you this day and to all of our Midvale members, I want to let you know you will have received a stewardship information packet that includes a response that you can offer either by selecting an automatic withdrawal from your checking or savings account or returning a commitment card. And we are hoping that all of those commitments are returned by November 8th. Thank you again, Eileen and Marty. And do you have another? Yeah, go ahead. I, I just wanted to comment, uh, Blake, I assume because of the COVID, that's why you didn't invite me to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that that is true. Other, we'll have to take a rain check on that. I, okay. I promise. All right. Blessings to you. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you. Bye now. Bye.